Man, I sure am famished. If only I had some macaroni and cheese to soothe my hunger. Fortunately, I, I just can't cook. What am I to do? <laughs> OMG, my gosh! Is that the one and only and world-renowned chef Randoni Rigatoni? Yes, my child, it is I. The one and only world-renowned chef Randoni Rigatoni. And I've come here to solve your problem. Wow. So you're just gonna cook me some food? No, no, no. I'm not going to simply make this for you. No, no. I'm gonna teach you how to make cooking, you need to make sure that your hands are clean. So what we're going to do before we start cooking is that we're going to wash our hands. Make sure they wash your hands thoroughly and nicely. You gotta, you gotta wash it good. First things first, we need to get our equipment and stuff. Such as our pot, our cold drench strainer, and our mac and cheese of choice. Of course this is Shells and Cheese Deluxe, but it's close enough and I don't feel like going to the store. Our first step to actually cooking the food, however, that's going to start with us filling up the pot with some water. My water pressure is actually not that great, but it's water nonetheless. Our second step to cooking the macaroni and cheese is to put on the stove. Make sure it's set up high. My stove goes to six different levels of heat. I put it at six. If yours does not go to six levels of heat, I don't know what to tell you. Just make it hot so the stuff boils. Another note, make sure that the water is high enough so that way the noodles will be covered when we put them in. Another thing people will typically do when they boil water is that they'll put salt in it. Lots of people don't know why they put salt in it, but I actually do. It's because salt water actually stays water better than normal water. When you boil salt water, it stays water a lot easier because the salt molecules make the water stay together. So that's a little bit of information for you. Uh, and because of this, we'll be putting some salt in there. Now that our water is at boiling temperature, we're going to grab our macaroni and cheese. This is shells and cheese, so I've already explained that. So you're going to put your noodles. You're going to open the box first, you know, that, that helps. And take out any material relating to cheese sauce that's not needed right now. Uh, some sauces will be pre-made, and some you will have to make later. Ours are pre-made. So if yours is not, that's not what this video is for. <laughs> I'm sorry. But we're going to put all the noodles into the water. And be careful, you don't want it to splash back at you. That would be bad. So you always want to be stirring this. We're going to set a timer for 8 minutes and we'll see you then. Three, two, one, and you can hear my microwave go off because we're done with our stove. It's kind of goofy. So let's just turn down the heat so we don't burn ourselves next time. Grab our strainer. Be careful with your noodles so you don't burn yourself and you dump your noodles into the strainer. And make sure that your noodles don't stick to the bottom so you can use your stirring tool of choice, I guess. And make sure all the noodles go out. Shake this up a bit. Get rid of any of that loose water, especially in these shell types. And then dump it back in here. And there we go, we have cooked the noodles onto the cheese of buying. So like I said earlier, this cheese sauce is pre-made, so we don't actually have to do any work for it. So what we do is that we cut off the top and we dump all of this questionably flavored cheese into our mac and cheese. Put that to the side and we just start stirring. When you stir, you gotta make sure that you stir evenly so that way the cheese gets mixed in with the noodles. And as you see, as you can see right here, 
it's doing that. It's, it's doing pretty good. And right now, I think we just did it. So what we do is that we throw away any of the garbage that we obtained. And if you're feeling real confident in your cooking skills, you grab the salt and pepper. Of course, this is optional, as I did not say at the beginning. But you can just add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I say that backwards from how I put them in. And then you can mix that in too. And surprisingly, just adding salt and pepper improves the flavor a lot more. I should know, because I am the gourmet chef. And just like that, we got ourselves some mac and cheese right in our own kitchen. Well, I'll be darned. This is the best mac and cheese I've ever had. Thanks, Chef Randoni. Well, I couldn't have done this without your help. You absolutely could have. You know, I appreciate the compliment. In the end, I did learn how to make some baller macaroni and cheese. Well, that's the thing that matters the most in the end. Learning to cook is one of the most important things that you learn in your adult life. I mean, yeah, but I still got a while to go. But it's still a lesson you should probably learn in the end. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>